What's up, everybody? I'm Hoser. I'm Michelle. And this is KaggerCast, Coronavirus Edition. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, the word of the day is uh, social distancing. How is everyone doing with their social distancing? We're Not keeping, great. <laughs> everyone keeping six feet away? No? I know at Walmart, their employees aren't keeping six feet away from us. So, uh, it seems like every aisle we went down, there was an employee heading the opposite direction and wouldn't even wait for us to pass them. At one point, me and Michelle were walking down the aisle, and there were some peop two people walking towards us in the opposite direction, and an employee coming from to the right of us. We had nowhere to move, nowhere to go. So, yeah, I think that's something that um, employ employers should discuss with their employees. Yeah, man, <laughs> but it's like I was telling you before. You've got to pretend like everybody's got... Yeah. Everyone's got you know zombie disease <laughs> and you know you gotta stay away yes. that's what yes. i told you <laughs> you know don't don't expect other people to stay away from you just just you do it that makes sense common sense yeah yeah so again but then uh, again, that situation where those two people were walking towards us and the employee was walking this way and we had yeah no well we were boxed in yeah <laughs> but in a different situation <laughs> and where, me, when where, we're boxed in. where you're not boxed in and there's just a lot of space around you. <laughs> and believe me, in that situation where we were boxed in, I felt that they were all infected. <laughs> yeah, I felt horrible, man. I'm like, get away. <laughs> Social distancing. I even said yeah, it. I'm like, social distancing. <laughs> you said it out loud, too. <laughs> like, they fucking care. Oh, my God. You know, what's funny is, like, the two people were walking right next to each other, and then those two girls, the two females were walking next to each other, and they didn't even seem to care that we were walking towards them or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, but, yeah, it, it, the other crazy times we're, we're living through right now, it, it's, yeah, like you said, the zombie apocalypse. I, uh, it's something that, I don't think we've ever imagined what would be happening. <laughs> I mean, no, I was saying earlier that, you know, it, it's kind of fucked up that they, they're classifying essential employees or essential staff and non-essential workers, you know, so they, essential workers are still working. Non-essential workers obviously aren't going to work. And... Uh, it, I don't know. It's kind of to me. It's kind of weird. It's kind of funny that, um, like I said, I, I work with kids. I do uh, therapy at kids' homes with these kids, but yet I haven't been working for. Uh, has it been two weeks already? <laughs> two weeks. It's been thirteen days. It's been thirteen hasn't days. It? Oh been yeah, thirteen, 13 days. Yeah, it's been thirteen Today days. Today is day thirteen of the Jesus <laughs> Christ! I, I thought it quarantine. was like Tuesday. <laughs> is it Tuesday? Sunday? I thought it was Tuesday. Today it's Monday. It feels like yeah. But yeah, so I haven't been working for 13 days now, and yet, again, McDonald's is open. So I kept, like, McDonald's workers are more essential than me that works with kids. So, uh, That's right. So who made the right choice? So people that didn't McDonald's. go to college, <laughs> apparently. McDonald's the, the made the right that, choice. Not only did I go to college and I'm not working right now, I still owe student loans. <laughs> so, so who made the right choice? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it is crazy. Yeah, it's like that day 13, like you said, day 13 of the uh, quarantine. Apocalypse. <laughs> the apocalypse. And, uh, and yeah, and, and people are going so crazy. Yeah, like, like I, said, I mentioned, we were talking about it earlier, Michelle is going... She has cabin fever already. <laughs> I, I think you, yeah. I think I'm getting a rash, man. <laughs> You're allergic to your kids. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> allergic to everything. They're, the house. They're here too long. The, the kitchen, <laughs> the dishes. <laughs> Just allergic to everything. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. It, that, I think you were. I think you were starting feeling cabin fever after like day three. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how long has it been? Five days. I think it was five yeah, days. Yeah, it was five days. I'm like, it's been five days, dude. Damn. It's yeah, crazy. It's, yeah, very crazy times. And uh, 
And then uh, you, you think about that some of the the companies, uh, some of the types of jobs that are really being affected by this, you know, uh, entertainment definitely. You can't have live entertainment anymore unless it's in an empty arena and you're streaming live or something. You know, yeah. You're talking about comics. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a part time. I'm an amateur comic. I don't say part time. I'm an amateur comic, and uh, yeah, we haven't been able to put on shows. Michelle used to bust her ass, call, you know, calling, contacting venues, setting up shows. No, thank you for the credit. And uh, and now you know, there's nothing we can do about putting on live shows. And yeah, man, venues. I can't fucking call anybody. Everything's closed. Yeah. You know the best part of it, though. I gotta tell you, the best feeling is when the when the venues call you. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the best feeling, yeah. man. It's like you bust your you bust your ass and you try and and then they come around. They're like, yeah. When are we having another one? Come back and that's the best feeling for me at least. And you know what's funny is that the last venue that called us like that, before they called us, after the last show they said, You know what, I th- I feel we need to upgrade <laughs> the talent. You know? Yeah. They were like, Yeah, that last show wasn't so good. Okay, well, yeah. Everybody was laughing though. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. 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 yeah it I, wasn't... We said, okay, you want higher quality entertainment, then it's going to cost you. Yeah. <laughs> and then they were quiet for what, three months? Yeah. <laughs> and then they reached out to you, hey. Uh... Come back. <laughs> we're wondering. <laughs> I think it's, was it when I booked the other show at the other oh, venue? I think yeah, that's, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, and I think also, uh, I think they're patrons. We're asking, yeah, because because we have a really, we have a, we had really good turnouts at those shows in Yuma. We have a following in Yuma. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys, you guys have well, a following. Well, in Yuma. The, no, but yeah, they, they, I mean, they turned out. We have a bunch of regulars. I mean, we we met a lot of cool people out there, like Eddie. Yeah. Eddie, shout out to Eddie. Eddie's cool. Hey, so, Eddie. I don't know if you'll hear this, but, <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to you, man. We miss you, man. Hope you're I doing know. well. Wish we had gotten your, his phone number. So well, we dude, we saw him last time, and he's alive. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this is a crazy shit. This is a crazy shit. That, that like, yo, the the last time we saw him was like in April of last year, was it or May? I don't remember. Year? I think it was the May show that we did in la- last year, and uh, and Eddie and we thanked Eddie for showing up again. And we, hey, thanks for your support, guy. And he goes, Oh yeah, I would never miss these things. He goes, believe me, if I'm not, if you guys don't see me as one of these shows, I'm either in the <laughs> hospital or dead. Yeah. <laughs> the very next show. <laughs> They're like, where's Eddie? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we'll be yeah. okay. Then the show after that, where the fuck is Eddie? <laughs> yeah. He, he was missing for like yeah. four or five shows. Yeah. Yeah. We're worried. We thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah. I really, I really thought he <laughs> I'm was I'm like, dead. he's in the hospital or. It turned out he has a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. So. He has a girlfriend now. But that was an option he gave us. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? He never said, I'm in the hospital, I'm dead, or yeah, I have a girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> what the fuck, Eddie? Never mind, Eddie. No shout out to you. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. He's a really cool dude, and apparently uh, he's got himself a, a younger woman. Like... <laughs> Yeah, like 20 years younger, I think. <laughs> Probably 20, 25 young, years younger. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, Eddie's a retirement age, and she's she's, she, she's still she, working on her fucking PhD. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for Eddie. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Good I'm for glad. him, I, man. It was good seeing him. He looked a lot happier. He, Yeah, he's very yeah. relaxed. Ray, he looked healthier, actually, also. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so. She put him on a diet. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the ice skating. <laughs> Inside joke. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, good for Eddie. But yeah, so Eddie's a, a, what was a follower. You know, and then we we've had shows um, in Yuma that you know even my uh, a good friend of mine drove out to Yuma and watched our show. It, you know, shout out to George Sanchez for that. Thank you, George. Thanks, George. Thanks for the support, man. So yeah, it, I, I think the shows in Yuma have gone really good. I think I can't. I think maybe there, there's only one or two that you could say ah, uh, they could have been better. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. But but sometimes yeah, we we have 
hecklers. <laughs> yeah, we had people that have been kicked out. Yeah, they, For sure, I thought every show yeah. we're going to have a, a guy or a girl, yeah. a woman get kicked out. I'm surprised they didn't kick out that one person this last time. No, because look at that guy is loaded, man. He's like <laughs> he's the one with the pet fucking he's, yeah. He's coyote. the one with the yeah. He's the one with the fucking coyote, the wolf. Yeah. He, he's the one with the wolf. Yeah. So she, the owner, was like, "Yeah." Mm. I'm like, you know, you gotta kick him out. He's, and she was like, "Yeah, that's not gonna yeah. happen." Well, he's kick out his coyote. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That thing's scary. <laughs> yeah. But and, uh, it's it's all right. Yeah. You learn to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as a comic, you have to learn how to deal with it also. You know? <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I was thinking uh, the the other. Well, I, a lot of comics have actually gone to social media doing live streams. They've been doing live uh, Facebook Live. They're uh, they're on Instagram Live. They're. Like Jim Gaffigan has a, a YouTube, he goes YouTube live for his family dinners and stuff. So yeah, that, that's that's kind of interesting. Um, that it, it, the creativity that comics have to go through now. The problem is they're not making money off it right now. But at least uh, they're still. Wait, don't they have ads or anything in between? Uh, Jim Gaffigan might have sponsors, obviously. Yeah, but, but, yeah. But guys like. Local comics in San Diego and stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Can't really yeah. affect that, but but at least they're there. Well, they're, at least if there's a following, right? Yeah. If you yeah. got people, you know, watching you or listening to you, then all, all power to you, man. Oh yeah, so we should definitely thank. We should definitely thank the sponsors, uh, TNT Anger Management. Shout out to Norm Norman. Thank you so much, man. You've been a sponsor. For us for about more than a year now I would say and we couldn't do it without you also uh, quality events quality events from Yuma thank you so much and uh, satellites American satellites. American satellites also out of Yuma Arizona yes thank you thank you guys thank you that's very awesome much. Yes. And Rolling Rock, it never happened. <laughs> yeah, Rolling Rock, we're still <laughs> waiting for your sponsorship, man. Yeah. All, all the money I spent on your beer, you couldn't kick back 10%, man. <laughs> Come on. So some, something we haven't brought up is um, actually uh, the shows that we lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we lost two shows that were definitely in works and we were actually looking forward to having another show that we were hoping that these two shows will lead to another show. Uh, the first one was uh, Lupe Palooza Chuck Fest 2020, which was supposed to be March well, 21st. Let, let, let me, let's backtrack, right? So the first, the f first of the weekends that we were going to do was February 28th, with which we did. In Yuma. Yeah. And then after that, it was... The 13th. It was, it, yeah, it was the 13th. March 13th. March 13th. And then it was March, March 21st, 21st was which, which was supposed to be the Chuck Fest. And that one was... Unfortunately, it was... It had to be canceled. It has to be postponed because of the coronavirus. Yeah, because of the guidelines that the CDC had put out at the time. And, uh, and that, which is really unfortunate, because, like, I told Michelle before, I, I feel bad because she put in a lot of work into organizing the Chuck Fest. And then we also had the, the one you were going to say it was March, March 27th, 27th, which was another with, rock uh, show. Three Kings, uh, Rocky, <coughs> shout out to Rocky with, uh, out Red there. Red Line Audio. Red Line Audio Scene, Red Line uh, Studio Scene, Red Line Audio. The Red Line Scene and Red Line Audio. Uh, Red, Red Line Music Studio. Scene. Red, uh, Red Line, let's know. get it right, Sorry, man. Sorry, Rocky. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, we've been Red, drinking. Red Line Music <laughs> Scene and Red Line uh, Studios. Studios. That's what it is. Yeah, and Shout was, out to Rocky. Luis Alvarez. Yeah, he was going to have, uh, well, he was going to perform there with the Three Kings. He was going to have. Um, the Malt. The Malt. Far From Away. Um, the Sweet Orange. No, he was not going to have Sweet Orange there. Yeah, Sweet Orange was supposed to play that one. No. No, it was Three Kings, The Malt, uh, Far From Away. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Sweet Orange and Spastic. 
spastic and I'm missing one sorry guys I'm missing one but uh yeah mm. no that would that, that must be another show okay, good because point. yeah but um but yeah so going back to the, Michelle put in a lot of hard work organizing these Aww, things she's, she's thank put in you. a lot of she's the one that reached out to the venues she's the one that set the dates up she's the one that reached out to the bands and uh at least two uh red line uh street what red line music scene <laughs> huh? i'm gonna keep fucking that up <laughs> and <coughs> and she's also especially for uh the chuck I, fest. I, I think i reached out to all the bands actually but okay yeah. and well i think it's like uh, for the march 27th you just you asked rocky to oh no that. rocky set up definitely yeah. rocky uh, red line music but, scene set up that yeah but that for the show. chuck fest Ma Thank michelle so actually contacted every band that that was going man i was recently. looking so forward to chuck fest yeah. everything was set up and everything and unfortunately this happened but it's like uh you know we all have to keep it in perspective that it's not about us it's about everybody it's affecting everyone and a lot of people lost a lot of money yeah, yeah. so yeah that's it is what it is you just gotta keep on going yeah and, uh shout out to all the all of you that are actually uh hanging it tough in there because uh, yeah especially if you're not working and you know I, I completely understand how stressful that can be because right now in here in this house where, where no one's working right now either and it and yeah the, it, it does it is very stressful so uh shout out to you guys and i wish you guys the best wait a second i thought you said you weren't stressed <laughs> okay, no I, I am enjoying spending time with you but yeah i know that we're we're running out of money and <laughs> yeah and true. and they're extending this uh quarantine apparently till april 30th now yeah it's crazy <clears throat> and uh i don't know how we're gonna make the bills this next month but i'm paying you with all my love baby oh <laughs> i'm gonna pay the, the rent with love oh <laughs> i'm gonna buy groceries with love yes yes Tell thank him. You love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a little paper. I owe you with the hard knit from Joe. <laughs> yeah, the O and the O you has to be a heart. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> the U too? No, 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 just the O. So I heart you, and that way, when they come collect it, they say, "Hey, I said I love you, man." <laughs> <laughs> Not I owe you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to say that. <laughs> but they got the coronavirus in your mind. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. So, so yeah. So now we're we're living in day thirteenth, like an, al an alternate reality. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wanted a break. You got it. <laughs> All those people. Hey, I need a break. Here, here you go. So yeah, you know, prayers we, answered. <laughs> now we have a new BC and AD. You know, it's before coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what was the other way? What did I say with AD again? After. Uh, after distancing or something. Yeah, after, uh, yeah, after distancing, <laughs> or after detection, or. I don't know, but yeah, so yeah, we're living in an ultra. We're living in the. We're living in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy out there. I mean, people are not really taking like at a first. Lot of aren't at it first, too. it it was there was for some reason no toilet paper. <laughs> like hell, what's wrong with your butt? You know, <laughs> what's going on there that we don't know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm serious. Maybe maybe it's because. They took so many cases of water. They thought they were going to be shitting diarrhea. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't. I don't understand it. Why? Yeah, the toilet paper. You would think the four oh nine, or you would think another cleaning. No, the Lysol. Lysol. Anything <laughs> antibacterial. So you know anything, Gloves, right? Gloves. Gloves. Mask. Mask, yeah. Anything but toilet, toilet paper. paper. Like really? <laughs> yes. Why? Yeah, a water world. <laughs> It was all about searching for land. Mad Max was all about, you know, searching for water, or fuel. <laughs> so, so the next, 
apocalypse movie will be about search, the search for toilet paper. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. Well, I didn't get it. Everybody went crazy. They started they started hoarding toilet paper and water and and you still now you go to the store, it's 30, 13 days in and a few packages <laughs> You don't you see water now. But they're paper. they are um price oh, what do you call that? Price gouging. Price gouging. Price gouging. Come on, guys. And you know the craziest thing about this is, again, we're at day 13 of this thing. And uh, we bought toilet paper. We last bought toilet paper like a week before this thing happened. We still have the same rolls toilet. of that toilet paper available <laughs> yeah, to us. Same toilet paper. So how much are you guys shitting? <laughs> And you know, not only how much are you guys shitting, you know what's crazy is we still have rolls from that, ori that original package of toilet paper. Yeah. And, and we don't just use it as toilet paper here. <laughs> there are napkins. <laughs> there are paper towels. <laughs> All right. You don't need to tell people, people that are toilet paper are, are napkins. <laughs> you, know, you know what's crazy? And there go people, people are going to be hearing this, and they're, they're going to be like, motherfuckers, they're so rich they can use toilet paper as paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, man. There's no bleach. There's no eggs. You well, now, white now, white. now, you white white. now there are eggs. There's no milk. No, the, the eggs. We um, we went to Walmart today, like I said, to pick up some groceries, and we saw the carton of eggs. That, the sixty count eggs were almost like ten bucks. They were not, over yeah, nine bucks. Ten bucks. When. A few months ago, we used to get it for like six something. Yeah. Remember? That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, um, I heard Carlos and us. I don't know if it was six. I think it was about three something. I don't oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it was three something yeah. for a 60 pack. 60 count. And we were comparing that to with Aldi, Aldi's yeah. with and we're like, wow, it's a good yeah, price. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah, we even did the math. How many Aldi cartons would we have to buy to get to 60 <laughs> and do <don't, you> know, <laughs> How much would that cost That's us? how poor we are, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're comparing eggs prices. But, yeah. Um, well, we're talking about price gouging. Oh, uh, you're the woman. Yeah, I heard about Cardenas. Yeah. Cardenas in El Centro. I heard a lady went there. Yeah. And, and uh, she wants to buy eggs, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it was eggs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it What's was it? eggs. And for a dozen eggs, <clears throat> they were charging like, what was it, six bucks, I think, right? Is what we, we had said? I told you? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was like, they were charging her like six. Oh, they were charging four bucks. They were charging four bucks for a dozen eggs, and she was and she called the cops. She said, you know what, I just went, came from, I don't know, remember which other supermarket she went to. And she said, they were selling the eggs for under two bucks. And yeah, so the the cops actually had to go out there and give them a warning. Yeah, that's crazy. And then good for her. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, after that, sometime after a few days after that, my my tia went to uh, saw the market here in Calexico to look for potatoes. They didn't have any potatoes. She saw a guy stocking the vegetables, the produce, and uh, she asked them. Oh, do you know? Do you guys have more potatoes? And she said, the guy said, no. They'll, they'll come in on Wednesday. He said, but lady, uh, you don't have to pay six bucks for them. They're gonna be six bucks. People who are who, people don't, who don't even eat potatoes are <laughs> buying potatoes. You know what I mean? Like suddenly you like things you never buy. Like and the stuff. Great Potato Famine. And yeah. I, I what <laughs> the fuck? Which never made sense to me that I that, that was such a big deal. The Great Potato. Uh, fa famine in Ireland, because aren't they in, in Ireland? Yeah, cause they, aren't they like? Don't they have like coasts where they can fish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I think you've mentioned but, that before. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So yeah. Apparently, we're now in a potato famine here in the states, and which is crazy because all the fucking food, all the fucking produce comes you know from Imperial County. <laughs> Actually, uh, what is more scary is that the produce is gonna go. Is gonna skyrocket and we're gonna be lacking food now yeah. so we're gonna be lacking food we're gonna be lacking probably water toilet paper you know that's gonna <laughs> happen um, 
you know, kids aren't going to school. What people is aren't working? People aren't working. People aren't paying with their bills. <sighs> the list goes on and on. Yeah, yeah. I think that is. We're fucking, we're, we're living the walking dead now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Trade, right? Yeah, like Yuma. We're going to start bartering. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to start bartering. <laughs> Back to the bartering system. Like, hey, uh, how many rolls of toilet paper for a potato? <laughs> <laughs> Give me enough eggs for an omelet. I'll give you two rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> He's like, I'll give you a six pack. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. I can use a leaf. <laughs> give me the six pack. Yo, we have a tree here that we can tear bark off of. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? <laughs> You're going to clean yourself with bark? Oh, God. That reminds me of what time we went camping and I, I ate bark. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> I was someone, my son, convinced me that you can, that you can eat bark and it's okay. <laughs> and there I am, chewing bark. <laughs> it was hilarious, but there I was. It's true. It's a true story. Yeah. I'm... Well, yeah, uh, we sl- yeah, we saw Slender Man. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's it's. I'm not gonna explain it, but yeah, we saw Slender Man. It was a I tree. Bark. It was a bark. <laughs> it wasn't a tree. It was Slender Man. <laughs> All right, but they don't need to know that. It's. Fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it. They can't see it, so it's good. We're good. But yeah. Um, Um, anyway, uh, guys, like I said, this was just, uh, something, again, trying to do something different to, to stay, stop being stir crazy and, you know, do, still have some type of creative output. We might do this again, uh, sometime soon, but, um, yeah, be safe out there, guys. Stay healthy. Definitely. Uh, stay safe. And until next time. Be Miss Norris. (laughs) All right. Bye, guys.